Hello, so this time we're gonna talk about events, what's the difference between them and functions, and also we'll create a first server script. If you want to find all the documentation and all the uh, of all the lessons, I'll just leave them down in the description. So open your hello world uh, resource folder which we have been working the previous times. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I recommend you watch them and then come back here. So in here we create a new, fold, uh, a new file called server.lua. Open fx manifest.lua file and add the and add the server.lua uh, file to server scripts. Then open the server.lua file and in here you can register server event. Let's call it hello world print to all. So what it's gonna do is gonna print hello or something to all of the players in the server. It is recommended to use the name of the resource in front of the in front of the name of event because there might be the same events in other resources. So in order to avoid the redundant names, we use uh, the name of the resource as well. Now let's add event handler. And then we just copy the same name. And add the function handler to it. So what's the difference between normal function and event? Well, basically event uses function, but what you can do with the function, you can trigger it from different resource and you can trigger it from different machine, which means that from client, uh, from client side of the script, I can trigger the event which is in the server. So basically, events are being used as the main connection between uh, client scripts and server scripts and vice versa. So in the event handler function, you can add any code which is going to be uh, executed once the event is triggered. You can also add multiple event handlers and add different text to it. The event handler can even be in different uh, and separate uh, resource, and that really enhances the flexibility and the usage of the events. So, in our event handler, we're gonna trigger client event, which is a gonna be called chat message we're gonna add minus one and we're gonna say hello so what is chat message if you would go to a thing gameplay there is a um, native resource called chat in here so it holds all the functionality of the chat window so here you can see an event called chat message and as you can see the function of it holds three parameters author color and text we don't really need these two, we're just going to use author as a uh, to print our text basically, which basically author just stays in front of text, so there's not much of a difference. And basically what chat message does, it just prints the text to the client's uh, chat. So. Since we are triggering it from server side, it, from server side, you can also add this argument, which is minus one. What that means is this client event is going to be triggered for 
every single uh, player for every single client which is on the server we could put two let's say here and then only player whose ID is 2 gonna get the message but now let's just leave it like this so all the players get the message hello to their chat so let's come back to our client.lua file and in here we're gonna trigger server event I'll just copy the name of it because I know I will mistype it if I want and since we don't ha haven't created any parameters we don't pass any parameters to it so once we so once we write the command print hello we're gonna have message to our client just the player who gets who, who writes the command gets this message and all of the other players as well as the player who wrote uh, the command is gonna get the message which we have written here so let's try going to the server wait okay let's carry on okay so open the console you will need to refresh because um, you have edited your FX manifest well and if you haven't restarted the server the server doesn't know that the fx manifest was changed so for that you need to use a refresh and then we can restart our uh, resource and now we can use the command print hello mic and I don't know if you can see but the chat has got a message hello and all the players should have got it as well as well as the hello world my name is Mike I am five was printed to my um, console do you remember when I told you that source is holding the uh, ID of the player who writes the command you can do you can use source and server sided scripts as well and that means that source is holding the ID of the player who triggered this event so that means if I change it to source uh, only me, only I gonna get a message only the one who writes the uh, only the one who triggers event in fact uh, gets the message so let's try doing that restart this and I got a message and no one else in the server should have got it uh, even though the server was triggered actually for no reason this time so yeah your task for this time is to create a new resource called console log and add another event handler for this event so since the event is registered already you don't need to register it again you can just use the event handler function and enter the same name so once this event is triggered it's going to be triggered on both uh, resources and just add line print player used print to all command so that's going to be printed to server console i'll leave all the explanation in the description so you can read it all as well as the rest of the documentation of the lessons so that's it for now and i hope to see you in the next one